We give all honor and glory to our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For without his sacrifice, we would not be able to come to you today. From our precious church, St. Paul's, located at 7 Raymond Street in Noah, Connecticut, where every Sunday you can come and find the word of the Lord being preached at our 11 a.m. service. Now come, relax and ready your mind, and prepare Miller, to hear a word God bless of the him. Lord. Amen to Elder Eric. Amen, Minister Goodwin to our head deacon, Deacon John, Deacon Leroy. Amen, Amen to all of the brethren that are in the house on this morning. Amen, Amen to our First Lady Miller. Amen to yeah. District Missionary Todd. Amen to my wife. Amen. Amen. Children, the musicians, the ushers. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All of the people in the household of faith. We're glad to be here Amen. another day. Amen. 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 Truly, God has been good to us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We're grateful. Amen. For what he has done. Amen. What he's doing and what he is going to do. Amen. In our lives. Amen. We've heard that the speakers were wonderful. Amen. On this week, I wasn't able to be here. Amen. But my wife came back and reported. Amen. All right. Amen. On every speaker. Amen. Amen. So we know that you've already been fed. Amen. With a good word. Amen. A word from the Lord. Amen. 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 I don't have anything long prepared on this morning, but truly there is a word from the Lord. Amen. And we're just excited to be a part of St. Paul's. Amen. 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 I was born and raised here. Amen. At St. Paul's. Amen. I can remember as far as back uh, being uh, taught in Sunday school by my very own mother. Amen. Christine Miller. Amen. Amen. In the kitchen. All amen. Right. We used to sit there, amen, and we used to get popped and everything else in Sunday school. <laughs> amen. But she taught us All amen, right. how to conduct ourselves, how to behave ourselves in the house of the Lord. Amen. So I'm glad, to, amen, to be a part of this house, this church. Yes. Amen. And I'm not talking about the building. Amen. But all of you, amen. We are the church. Amen. We are the church. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, you are the church. You are the church. You are the church. Amen. Bless the Lord. I'm not going to be long. If you have your Bibles on this morning, 1 Corinthians 12th chapter, the 12th to the 18th verse. 1 Corinthians 12th chapter, the 12th through the 18th verse. Brother Eric did such a wonderful job. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Narrating and yeah. talking about the history. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Of St. Paul's and where we've come from. Yeah. Amen. Where we are now. Mm. Amen. And where God is bringing us to. All right. Amen. How many of you know and believe that God is bringing us to a greater place? All right. Amen. Anybody believe God is bringing you to a greater place? All right. Amen. A greater place. Bless the Lord. Amen. I'll be reading, amen, beginning at the 12th verse. And it reads, For as the body is one, and hath many members, everybody say members, members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Whether we be Jew or Gentiles, whether we be bound or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For by the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it not therefore of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were ear, were hearing, 
Where were the smells? Mm. Smelling. But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it hath pleased him. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord Amen. is blessed. I want to talk very briefly from the topic. Dysfunctional members. Mm, all right. Dysfunctional members. Everybody say dysfunctional members. Dysfunctional members. Dysfunctional members. It's important that if we say that we are a part of the body of Christ, that we don't fix our mouths to say that I can't deal with or work with people. Mm, all right. The body of Christ is made up of people. Mm. Not just you alone are the body of Christ. That's right. But God, from the beginning, and since the beginning, has always promoted family. Mm. He's not even in heaven by himself. All right. All right. But he created angels, All right. which are his sons, which makes up the family of heaven. All right. Uh, even Adam, he said it wasn't good for man to be alone. So he made him and helped me. Mm. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, so it's important. It's, it's important that if we are, are claimed to be a part of the body of Christ, that we understand that we have to interact with one another. It is part of God's divine plan and purpose. All right. Oneness is the fact or state of being unified or whole. Mm. God has designed or structured the church to operate in oneness. Mm. The church is one body of baptized believers in Christ and can only operate in the same oneness that the Father has with the Son through the Holy Spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. We find ourselves here in a setting that reflects or symbolizes almost that is spoken of in Acts 2 and 1. All right. Where the disciples were all gathered together in one place. Mm. But then I would like to pause there and to oppose a question. And that is, I know that we are all in one place. But the question is, are we all with one accord? All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, ah, the, 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 the body here, the body, the body has many members. The scripture here lets us know that the body has hands and the body has feet and the body has eyes and the body has a nose and the, uh, the, the body has fingers. Uh, but it's all one body. Every member of the body has a specific purpose. It functions and works in a specific way. All right. Oh, my God, my God. It, it's very important that as the body of Christ, as the people of God, that we understand that when God called us, he called us to a specific purpose. He has placed in us uh, a gift of his liking and pleasure. Uh, and it's very important that we as the people of God, although we are one body, understand we do not all function within the body the same way. All right. uh, it is God uh, that has placed us uh, in specific places to do a work. Oh, uh, my God. But at many times we find ourselves facing opposition uh, which then causes confusion because we're trying to understand how can my body be beating up its own 
myself. All right. I'm reminded of a movie my family and I watched when we were kids. And they, they tell you about it. We used to watch a movie called Liar Liar. All right. Jim Carrey. All right. And Jim Carrey went to court. And he was before the judge. And I, I can't remember exactly what happened, but he was trying to avoid, there it is, was for telling the truth. All right. And so, because all he knew how to do was lie. And so he asked the judge, can I get a bathroom break? And so Jim Carrey ran to the bathroom and he was trying to avoid from finishing out the case. And so he was walking around and then he got a crazy thought in his mind. He began to slam his head on the sink and he began to punch himself in the face. And he began to step on his own foot and ended up giving himself a black eye and just looked real beat up. And so the security guards came and grabbed him and brought him back into the courtroom. And the judge said, what happened to you? And he said, a madman did this to me. The judge said, but what did he look like? And then he had no choice but to describe himself. And he said that he was a madman. He was a, a brown hair, uh, brown eyes, about 182 pounds. Uh, and he began, and, and, and the judge didn't really know that he was describing himself to the judge. You see, you see, see many times uh, the reason why a lot of things don't happen and go forth within the body of Christ is because we're so busy beating up ourselves. Right. Oh my God. Yes, yes, we've all made mistakes mm. in our lives. And, and some of those mistakes we got to live with. Yes, we've made bad decisions. Right. But you don't have to constantly beat yourself up. All right. Oh my God. Uh, we serve a God of a second chance. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, uh, the body, the body, the body, the body. Uh, not only not only that, uh, uh, this, this crazy character beat up himself. Uh, he took his own fist and beat himself in the eye and gave him a, a black eye. It's very important. That we understand that we are all one in Christ Jesus. All right. Hallelujah. And it's very important that we understand that some of us are the hand and some of us are the feet and then some of us are, 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 are the fingers and, and some of us are the legs. And the Bible lets us know here in Corinthians that God has given us all individual gifts. And it's very important that we understand that we have to allow God to operate in the lives of other people. And so it is our responsibility to allow God to be God in the body of Christ. Uh, we have to be very careful that we don't become jealous of one another. Because when you become jealous of a member of the body, you begin to attack your own body. Anybody in here ever felt like you've been punched in the face by your own self? When you talk about another member of the body, you talking about yourself. When you stab another member in the body in the back, you stabbing yourself in the back. For we are all one in Christ. All right. Hallelujah. Dysfunctional. Mm. Dysfunctional. Not operating normally. Mm. Not operating properly. Mm. Uh, it's very important that we as the people of God are able to identify when there is dysfunctionality in our lives. Now, no one likes to admit that there is a part of me that's dysfunctional. All right. 
We all like to look good. We like to smell good. We like to sound good. We like to feel good. We like to feel like we always doing right. Feel like we always got the right thing to say. Feel like we always giving the right direction. Feel like I'm the right person standing here. But at times, you're not the right person standing there. Right. At times, no, you're not always giving the right direction. At times, no, you're doing, saying, and hearing the wrong thing. Right. Dysfunctionality. This, see, that we have to understand that many of us, of us are dysfunctional because we're not delivered. See, the lack of deliverance shows up when we have to get involved with one another and work with one another for one common goal and purpose. You see, the last person who fought and formulated their own agenda got kicked out of his house because he was dysfunctional. He thought he had a better idea, thought he could put together a better program, and he even got some people on his side. But the last time I heard, I read that he fell from heaven like lightning. Hey, my God. Dysfunctional, dysfunctional. So, 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 it's important that we as the people of God uh, identify where we are dysfunctional and need deliverance. Because it is my undelivered state that causes me to stumble in relationships. It is my undelivered state that causes one to stumble in the work of ministry and by one being undelivered, uh, always abiding in frustration and anger, always abiding in a double mind and always abiding in a stagnated state, don't realize that all of that is transferred to other people. Right. Oh, right. Uh, dysfunctionality, being dysfunctional, uh, it hinders the move of God. Uh, being dysfunctional, a dysfunctional member of the body, uh, also it uh, uh, comes with uh, identifying that I cannot function properly within the body of Christ. Mm. Oh my God! All right. All right. Uh, we have to identify and see even where the enemy creeps in the body of Christ. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Right. Right. The enemy uh, has a plan and an objective. Mm. We have to identify how demonic spirits move and operate. All right. Understand demonic spirits can possess and oppress. All right. Hallelujah. Uh, one of the spirits uh, that has filtrated the body of Christ mm. is the spirit of manipulation. Oh, uh, somebody right. say manipulation. manipulation. All right. Manipulation is exercise, or is the exercise of harmful influence over others. People who manipulate others attack their mental and emotional sides to get what they want. The person doing the manipulating called the manipulator seeks to create an imbalance in power. Ah, somebody say manipulation. manipulation. We have to be careful that we aren't manipulated. So mm. We want to dictate everything that goes forth in the house of God. Mm. We want to dictate when we come, when we go. We want to dictate who worshiped. We want to dictate who waves their hand. Right. We want to dictate who should shout. And who shouldn't shout that oh, we want to dictate who reads the scripture, who doesn't should and shouldn't read the scripture. We want to dictate who should be preaching and who should not be preaching. We want to dictate who should be praying, who shouldn't be praying. You are operating in a spirit of manipulation. 
revelation is always uh, uh, the revelation of a secret hidden agenda. Ah, uh, my God. And it always uh, reveals itself uh, by the curling of a tail. Ah, uh, uh, my God. Uh, because when Satan curled his tail, I uh, uh, represented his influence uh, that he had over the other angels. Uh, and so you got to watch uh, when that spirit curls its tail. Uh, ah, my God. Uh, watch who's jumping on the bandwagon. Uh, hey, my God. Uh, hallelujah. For this spirit uh, works against the oneness uh, that God has ordained for the body of Christ. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Uh, this spirit. Uh, likes to control uh, the presence of God uh, when it moves and when it shouldn't move. Uh, uh, this spirit uh, uh, references to uh, Jezebel's spirit. Uh, Jezebel was controlling. Uh, hey, my God. Uh, she was controlling. Uh, do you know anything about her? Uh, uh, jump when she say jump. Uh, sit when she says sit. Uh, this spirit uh, does not reverence the presence of God, neither uh, respects the order of God. Uh, hey, my God, uh, dysfunctional members. Uh, hey, my God, uh, hallelujah. We have to understand uh, that it is God that set the church uh, in order. You may not like where I'm standing. Uh, you may not like who the elder is. Right. You may not like who the first lady is. Right. Might not like who the pastor is. Right. Might not like who the district missionary is. Right. Might not like who the deacon is. Right. But the Bible says, uh, Ye my God, uh, that God, uh, Ye my God, I uh, uh, set the members, uh, every one of them in the body, uh, as it pleases him. Uh, Jesus. God bless you on this morning. May heaven smile on you. 